Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Eric and this video comes to you guys by a request from one of you actually. Um, I made the water review video of this uh, Saturn CB330 and uh, it has a flat bottom and I did mention something about the keel. It doesn't have a keel. However, it comes with a built some built-in straps where you can use a pungulo to create more or less like a fox or a fake or a, um, <laughs> I don't know like a makeshift uh, keel and I'm gonna show you guys that and this right here is my very own Saturn CK380 that comes with a built-in keel itself because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to install one of these what it looks like what are some of the benefits what are some of the drawbacks so you can actually get and a few suggestions that I personally will make I will go into details on that so let's get to work okay so here I have the uh, boat itself is already inflated obviously the bladders themselves here is the air deck floor. I removed it because we're going to go ahead and put this in place. Now, surprisingly enough, even though this is a budget model, the CB330, uh, it comes with straps right here, as you guys can see. There's two of them. For you, if you decide to choose to use a pool noodle as a fox keel, start to put it in place, strap it in, so it remains in place. I thought that was pretty cool that Saturn thought of that because some folks like to have a keel to mitigate some of the swells and shop while in the water. So now that the keel is in place like that, that's we go ahead and lay down the keel itself. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna flatten it out, inflate the floor and let you guys see what it looks like. Here it is, fully inflated, fully flushed. Now, of course, you're going to notice there's a bit of a protrusion, like a little bump from here to here. However, do not be dismayed by that. That's not going to affect the performance. You'll be able to sit on it and handle it just fine. I love these boats. <laughs> a special thanks for the guys supposed to go.com because they're the ones who furnish, furnish this uh, boat for me to try again. They let me keep it one more week for me to show you guys all of this. I will have a link below uh, for the site about in the description below. You guys want to check it out. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to flip it upside down so you guys get to see what it looks like from the bottom. That's fairly easy actually. Doesn't take a whole lot of time. I should do it. I'm going to Hey there, buddy. All right, so now here I'm going to. I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera and show you guys a different angle. You guys to see a better shadow of it. So here it is. See, there's a bit of a protrusion, like a slight V shape. You guys get to see, like a little bump. See, a tiny little bump. Not the same as the one that comes built in with the keel, but it'll mitigate some of the swells. And to show you a comparison, I got my very own SK 285XL Kubota. That one has a flat bottom. See the difference? Completely flat. And a bit of a shape there. Now, that one comes with a built-in uh, keel itself. I'm gonna show you guys that right now. See, this one is designed just to have a keel itself. So it comes with the extra rubber that expands, sort of. Now this one, I had a bit of an issue where whenever I inflate the keel, the keel guard will move slightly to the right. So I put in some patches here to, uh, to protect it. And the reason I'm mentioning this because if you guys look closely, you guys gonna see that the wear and tear goes from here all the way to here. So when you have a fox keel like that, what's gonna happen is when you dock into the beach or uh, in the shore, you're visiting an island or something like that, the first part that the boat's going to touch, it'll be this, see? Like from here to here, which will create wear and tear. I highly recommend, if possible, get yourself a couple of patches like this, install them in this section, like four or five of them, for longevity uh, sakes, really, because um, you want to be able to use this boat if you're going to use it like that for a long period of time. You don't want it to wear down. You want to be able to enjoy it for a long time. I highly recommend that if you use a, fo a makeshift keel or fox keel, uh, for a better word, to put some patches down here. 
I will put I will put a link on the screen on top and the description below I actually um, show you guys how to put in some patches you know what to do how to clean it up how to glue it together if you happen to have a uh, a boat like this like this one has those bladder guards at the bottom and most of the wear and tear is from there to there I recommend doing the same here if you get the chance put in some patches from here to here this is the area that's going to be dragged on the sand when you pull the boat with you sometimes and you drag it having a bit of an extra padding will help here so yeah so as for the viewer who requested this I hope this answered the question how to install a key what it looks like now I'm gonna uh, talk about some of the benefits and some of the drawbacks that I have personally encountered because I have owned both types of boats both flat bottoms and with keel as you guys can see I own this one and the uh, flat bottom one over there this boat that I have here that comes with all the built-in keel and everything is a fantastic boat but I tend to gravitate to use that one more simple is convenience it's just one less thing I have to do one less thing that I have to worry about and all the, and I tested this boat last weekend. I'll put a link on the top and below as well if you guys want to check it out. Without a keel, flat bottom, it skedaddled to the water like it was nothing, like like a rat set on fire. I mean, it was just. Even if you don't have a keel, don't let that deter you from having a good time out there. Yeah, you might feel the swells just a smidget. I will say that a keel will mitigate maybe five ten percent of the uh, of the swells. There are some drawbacks as well about having a keel itself. Let me explain. Getting into plane. Let's say uh, you're not very strong. You cannot really lift a really big motor like a 10, 15, 20 horsepower. I mean, I probably could, but I'm gonna, my back's going to pay the price. I used to have a 9.8 Tohatsu upward. They weight uh, like 90 pounds. I eventually sold it for financial reasons and the fact that it was so super heavy. I tend to gravitate to use my six horsepower all the time. Having a flat bottom allows you to catch into plane on the water, like going quick, quicker. And the reason being is, it has to contend with less water surface. It being flat, for example, it doesn't have to have brake swells for you. It just goes right skedaddle. When you have a keel, you have this V shape that not only has to create like a, move the water towards the side, it creates more water friction, which uh, takes it takes more effort to get into plane. That's what I'm trying to say. So, if you want the convenience, uh, you want to go into the water, just get into plane, have a great time. Having a flat bottom boat, it has its benefits compared to this one. If I really want to get into plane very quickly, having a 10 horsepower outboard will do the best. Although this one will do it sometimes. <laughs> I have to like move my weight a little bit to get into plane, but it does it nonetheless. And that's one of the things I want to talk about. So, I believe that Saturn sells some flat bottom boats like if. There's, a fishing, there's a, some fishing models, the FB models, unfortunately it doesn't come to mind, that has a flat bottom, but it's got all the patches and all the tough, like all, everything included with the tough patches and the additional patches all over for fishing, you know, you know, to prevent punctures and things like that. Something, something like that would be a fantastic option. And I just want to make sure I give you guys an honest to God truth and opinion of what I've experienced myself. Again, don't let a flat bottom boat deter you from it. I mean, if you want to create a fox scale, you can. It'll mitigate some of the swells, but you're far better off just going in the water, having a great time. Um, having a, to be honest with you, in, oh, one more thing. When you're in the water, and let's say the water gets rough, the keel's, the keel's not gonna help you, okay? What really help you is having big bladders like this. If you have a inflatable boat with very narrow bladders, you would like it to get more flipped over. But even my Kubota over there that has massive bladders, they're like 18 inch wide. This one is like 14 or 15 inch wide bladders. That's what's going to help you uh, handle the waters a lot better. Having big bladders, there's more mass in the water. You can actually predict when the swell comes towards you, how you take it so you don't get flipped over. So just want to make sure I give you guys that tip. Anyway, I hope you found, you found this video informative. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'll have a link below for the boats to go.com. It's up below. It'll help me if you guys click on it. It lets them know that I'm getting uh, traffic towards their site and things like that. And uh, they send me more boats and I get more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.